you have been to medical school. <laughs> you were a real doctor for yep. quite a long time. Yep. And so I'm curious, does that knowledge that you have real skills, real abilities, give you confidence as a show business guy, as an actor? You know, it kind of does psychologically because when you're acting, like if you're among like legends like yourself, and it's, it's so- Smart move, very smart, smart move. move. <laughs> smart move. We go easy on you Always now. suck up. Yeah, okay, yeah. guys, <laughs> ASU. And yeah. then, but what I do, you know, to calm down my nerves, I'm like, these guys are comedy legends, but they don't know how to save a life. You know, like those kind of things. Right. They can't heal the sick, bitches. You know, yeah. so I have that little thing to calm down. That's really the way to say it. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> That's exactly how I was taught to say it in med school. Yeah, actually, so you could- Heal the sick bitches. Yes, if I could, if I was having like a massive heart uh, problem right yeah. now, you would know what to do. You'd be able to open my chest yeah. with like a pen knife, yes. get my heart out, massage it, yes, put it back in, stitch yes. me up. You could do all that. I would open, I would say to the nurse or so or pass- Nurse, open there's that, no nurse it would be around me. here. It would, it would uh, be Andy, me. Andy. Open that bitch up and then <laughs> get me the boop boop whatever coronary stint. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's so this just making that. Yeah. Can I curse? I don't know if I You're can say it. You don't know if you can curse. Yes, of course you can. Tom and Brady said <laughs> earlier in the show. Oh, right. <laughs> he hasn't cursed in his entire life. <laughs> then suture the mother <laughs> up. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cat. Sorry. I didn't mean go nuclear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Now you're doing this season of Dr. Ken. You're doing more m like medical stuff yeah. on the show. What you're examining like real cases that might come up. Is that right? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, and I've been in, more active in the writing, and, and it's really cool. Like my wife and I, are, my wife's also a doctor, and we'll kind of come up with we'll pitch story ideas like certain cases that I don't know that we did we did an episode that mimicked uh, depression, and it turned out the patient had hypercalcemia, like high calcium levels in the blood. And it's just so much fun to, it's so much fun to put the audience to sleep with the story. But it's so much fun yeah. to, uh, it's so much fun to, to really- I'm getting depressed just listening to it. <laughs> no, but, no, but. Ha, ha, ha. You know? <laughs> no, but you know what's interesting is that it's a, it's a show, it's entertainment. Yeah. But what we were used to growing up with, uh, you know, dads on TV that were doctors, yeah. would their business of being a doctor was completely separate from what was going on on the show or the sitcom. But you're trying, it looks like you're trying to work in real medicine. Yeah, no, I, I'm on, I'm, I definitely this season, I'm more on the hunt to kind of just keep it more, it, my mind at, when I was a physician was always on medicine, even when I was at home. And this season, my wife also works as a, she was, who's also a physician on the show. We work together and that mimicked our real life. Me and my real life wife, we worked in the same HMO together. So all we do is talk shop 24 seven medicine. It was, it was crazy and nerdy. It was- well, One thing uh, I did, one yeah. thing I didn't know about you is crazy and nerdy, by the way. That's <laughs> Uh, that's my autobiography title. <laughs>